So today we're doing a realistic rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. I just recorded another one of these a few days ago. You will see that eventually. I guess that won't be a realistic rebuild and be more of a rebuild, but the intro is what it is in that video. But the Titans just traded for Julio Jones today. So I'm going to be doing a rebuild of this team. A Falcons rebuild will be coming, even though I don't think that affects the team all too much other than the draft picks, which will be good. So we have Julio on the team. I gave Caleb Farley star development. And we're going to make this more of a quicker rebuild like I used to do, about 20 minutes long, just because I don't really have much time before my surgery. So let's get into it, and let's go to the playoffs. So now that Tennessee has Julio, I think they're a slam dunk win this division, but we didn't do it. We went 6-10, tied with the Jaguars. Not even the Texans with Watson did well. Tannehill, 44 in the yards, 33-10 is a great year. Henry, 1,000, about 1,100 with nine touchdowns. Reynolds? 1,100 with eight touchdowns. Uh, yeah, right. Jones, 940 with five. Berksker with seven. 10 for A.J. Brown, 850. On defense, Brown, 138 is awesome. 109 for Evans. Sack totals, eight and a half for Landry. Six for Evans, six for Dupree. Interceptions, three for Brown, two for Landry and Hooker. And then a few ones. Yeah, I don't know. Josh, well, uh, Josh Wilson. Josh Allen, MVP. There's Tannehill at six. We won't be in coach of the year talk. Offensive player, Tannehill at four. Defensive player, Jayon Brown. Take it at home. Love it, love it, love it. Zach Wilson, rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year. Farley, of course, nowhere to be found. Kind of disappointing. Now, let's see what we have for XP. Ooh, I didn't put my sliders on. I am going to have to do that off screen, but as of right now, two for Brown, two for Henry, two for Radons. One for Lawan is all right, I suppose. Two for Evans, Brown. One for Landry. Two for Jeffrey Simmons. Two for Farley. That's a little... I like this a lot. The Pats beat Tom Brady and the Buccaneers 23-17. Newton Super Bowl MVP. I doubt it, but I'll take that any day of the week. Who's a free agent? Monty Rice, no. Weaver, no. So we are good. I actually like Rashad Weaver, but I don't think he's going to do anything in this rebuild, so I'm not really going to worry about that. Then free agents, I only like to bring in people who got franchise tagged, which there is about nobody up here. I wouldn't mind Patrick Peterson for a year. I, I Did he sign a one-year deal with Minnesota? He might have signed a one-year deal with Minnesota. If so, I apologize, but I'm not. It might have been. It could have been two. I don't know. So we didn't get Patrick Peterson quite yet. Then... We got him now. Okay, that's good. And then this is Rashad Evans. Yep. So we have the seventh overall pick. I'm thinking either Javier Morris in the corner, who looks fantastic, or Nick Westerman. And I actually think I want to go Westerman, even though... You know what? Let's go Morris because he's first in the 40-yard dash, first in the bench press. Great top three skills. He's a 76 hit in development. Awesome. 94 speed, 71 man, 77 zone, and 78 player act. In the second round, oh, not in the second round. I traded the second round pick. In the third round corner, Pat Crockett also seems pretty good. 71 hit in. I might just cut Janoris Jenkins and Patrick Peterson. I'm definitely going to do So like I was talking about, I am going to cut Patrick Peterson. That's probably going to hurt us. Oh, no, we actually saved money. A little bit of a penalty. Not a huge deal, though. And then once this, yep, there we go. Janoris Jenkins. I don't know what his contract situation is like. That is a little bit of a hit, but I want our rookies to be starting at the most XP they can. I mean, Morrison, Farley, Crockett, it's awesome. Good linebackers. We have to work on the defensive line. I believe Bayard's 29, 28. I think he's 29 in real life. Or he's probably 28, going to turn 29 after the next season. But there's really nothing I can do about that. Tanhill, 86. Jones, 94. Brown, 87. All right. Unbelievable. We missed the playoffs again. Tannehill is an absolute beast in this game, but we go 6-10. and 10. Jaguars 13-3. and 3. I could see that next year. Colts 9-7. and 7. Texans 5-11. and 11. Tannehill 44 in the yards, 31-11. and 11. Basically the same as last year. Henry 1,000 with 5. Bit of a drop-off. Reynolds, why is he doing so well? 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Maybe up to start development, which will be nice, but I, I don't know. Jones 925 with 5. Berkshire, 877 with three. Anthony Brown, 871 with three. On defense, Jayon Brown, 113. Mafarley, 102. Sack totals, eight for Simmons, six for Evans. Interceptions. You know, we actually have to do go back. Let's go back to defense. 
Let's get there. Where are corners? Morrison, 83 with an interception. And then Crockett, 68 with nothing. That's kind of unfortunate. We're eighth at offensive yards, too. Wilson MVP, not a big surprise there. Tannehill not up there. I just said there. Like from Boston. Offensive player, Tannehill is at seven. Defensive player, Miles Jack. Offensive rookie, it's going to be nothing. Defensive rookie, Morris is going to take it home. Crockett at six. And Bozeman at ten. Couldn't tell you who Bozeman is. Can one of our guys at least have superstar? Do not go double star on me. Nothing crazy on offense. Yes, there we go. Superstar at five, Farley two, Crockett five. So the corners are set. We need a strong safety. We need a right end. Bozeman actually might not be that bad defensive tackle. And then our linebackers, unless I cut Bud Dupree, are actually in pretty good shape. The Browns beat the Packers 34-17, so things are back to normal for this game. Denzel Ward, Super Bowl MVP. That's Harold Landry, who's definitely coming back. Bud Dupree got a five-year deal, so I will extend him. I can't believe they gave him that deal. But who am I to say? You're going to test out free agency. Well, about that, you're not really going to do that. Why, what am I doing? I was thinking this Raidens. I was like, yeah, well, we'll extend Raidens four years. Uh, I'm going to let him go. If he went up to star development, maybe I would have given him some money. If he actually wants a cheap deal, I'm not against bringing him back the more I think about it. That's not bad. We'll still look for another tight end, but at the time, that's really, really not that bad. We could bring back Chester Rogers. I don't think so. Dupree, I did say I was going to extend. Let's give him... So we played two, so let's give him three more years. Okay, I'm franchising Landry. I mean, that's a given. I'll try to pick up Bud Dupree. If not, really not much I can do about it. I, I guess I can go to a different team, bring him over. I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. I wish we needed corner help. Harrison Smith would be interesting, but no. Gallup or Sutton would actually be interesting as well. Because you figure Julio Jones has, what, two more years at most? So I'm actually going to make an offer to Sutton. Casey Hayward, Ronnie Harrison would be interesting. I think I might have brought in Ronnie Harrison in my other Tennessee rebuild. So my bad if I did. Actually, you know what? Let's pull back on that. Let's get Naughty. Or not. I, I think it's naughty, right? I don't really know. I should know, but I really don't know. Where is my guy, Bud Dupree? Shouldn't he? Is he just gone? Oh, no, he's not gone. All right, let's give him the three-year deal that I just offered him. Increase the money a little bit more. 95 total points. If we can get all these players, that would be fantastic for this team. We do have to worry at strong safety. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go to the draft. Eh, let's not go to the draft. Let's see who the fifth-year option is. This should be Jeffrey Simmons. Yeah. With a sixth overall pick, we're going left end. Bryce Fuller, first of the 40-yard, first of the three-cone of the 20-yard. 76, normal development, rank number two. 65 power moves, 80 finesse, 86 speed, 89 acceleration. So in the second round, there's Geo Alley, who looks really good. Don't need an outside linebacker. Mike Sermons looks good. Don't really need a middle linebacker. And then Jeffrey, we might be able to pick up. So it's between these two. And I think Sermons looks so good that I'm just going to have to take him, even though we have Evans, though we have, even though we have Brown. 74 normal development with 91 speed, 83 tackles, 72 block shed, 80, or 78 hit power. Not a bad backup. So we're an 84 overall team. We lost our left guard. Why is his name slipping from my mind? I can't remember who it is. It's not a huge deal. I think what we're going to do is just let Hayes play. Actually, no. I just drafted Walker in the third round. We'll put him over to left guard. We're four deep uh, receiver, which is good. But Jones should be gone probably after the season, I would think. Then the computer drafted a strong safety on how great he's going to be. We're going to have to wait and see. And everything else just seems good. So we did make the playoffs at 11-5 with a wild card spot. We're playing against the 7-9 and nine Chargers. Wow, okay. Jaguars 12-4, Colts 10-6, the Texans 8-8. Eight eight. Tanhill 4,100 yards, 32-16, so he is getting worse. Do have to look into a new quarterback eventually. Henry, 1,300 yards with 12 touchdowns. Good. Jones, 1,000 with 7. Sutton, 980 with 5. Ferkser, 811 with 9. Brown, 700 with 8. Reynolds, nothing. Jayon Brown, 133, 94 for Evans. Sack totals, 10 for Dupree. 8.5 for Fuller, the rookie. That's awesome to see. Interceptions, 3 for Brown and Farley. 2 for Crockett. 
one and one. Morrison and Dupree, eighth in offensive yards. Brady, another MVP. They went 14 and two. Cam Newton at two. Uh, no Tannehill, unfortunately. Coach of the year, we're at four with Mike Vrabel. Offensive player, nothing. Defensive player, Jayon Brown, again. Love it, love it, love it. Offensive rookie, Kendricks. I don't know who that is. Ranking at four. Defensive rookie, Fuller at two. Costanza at five, which is good. I mean, Fuller should have had hidden development, I, uh, even if it's star. I would take star. I feel like I complain so much that people are like, oh, he doesn't even want star. Like, just give me star. That's all I want. Where is that random bum, Kendricks? There he is. On defense, star development, good. Fuller with two, good. Landry three. Ooh, four for Morrison, two for Crockett. So we're playing the Chargers. They're seven and nine. They are at home for whatever that's worth. We're up three to nothing. Three to three in the second quarter. Six to three. Very high scoring. I mean, I know the Chargers have a good defense. I know our defense is getting better. But it's six to six in the third quarter. Nine to six. Nine to nine. What are we doing? And wait, why didn't we even kick a field goal? Is it. I hate this game. I absolutely hate this game. It's 4 15 to 9, rather. Herbert 281. Tanhill 186 with an interception. I think we're going to move on from him. Rushing touchdown for Kelly. Najoku 124. That's nice. This is just weird. Just very, very weird. Chargers beat us on the loss to the Saints 41 17. How did a 7 and 9 team make it to the Super Bowl? I have no idea. Peter Kavanaugh, the Super Bowl MVP. I'm assuming that's a rookie from the first year of the draft in this video we have so many players to bring back i don't know if we have the money to do it we i thought he turned this down like even jay on brown i know jay on brown's won two defensive player of the years but he might be the odd man out because we just drafted a middle linebacker i need landry to be something uh, uh, nate davis is down there even josh reynolds I'm not going to bring him back. Amani Hooker I like. Autry can go, clearly. Let's go five years. Let's increase the money. I, I, this is so bad. I don't love this move, but I want to keep the defense together. Let's franchise tag him. Now let's go to the draft. So we have the 21st overall pick. The only quarterback on the board is Nick Colvin. I'm not going to trade up for him. He didn't win the Heisman or anything like that. So if he's here at pick 21, we will take him. I have some doubts that he'll still be there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I don't want a left outside linebacker. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't know. This is awful. I don't want really any of these players. I wouldn't mind Pier uh, Pieri. That wouldn't be bad. But we're going to go Bracken's. He's a 75 with normal. Meh. Meh. In the second round, we are going to take the right guard, Pieri. 74 normal development. That's fine. 90 strength, 76 run block, 73 pass. So Julio Jones actually didn't retire. We still have Tannehill at quarterback. Our tight end is up to start development. Lawan has to be gone eventually. I don't know when that's going to be. Then on defense, Dupree's up to start development. Kind of surprised Fuller didn't go up. Let's get rid of Christian Fulton. I believe he's going to be a free agent after this year anyways. Yeah, get rid of him, save some money. I almost want to trade away Kevin Byard. I don't think anybody's going to take him off our hands, but we'll find out anyways. Let's advance. Give me something good. Just anything, really. Sure. I don't know what I have to do to make this team better. I mean, clearly it's a quarterback. I like to think it's not, but we went 5-11. and 11. I like the Jaguars are dominating. And Tannehill's probably going to win MVP, 4,800 yards, 41 and 18, 63% completion. Henry, 1,100 with 10. Sutton, about 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns, up to superstar. Unless he's already superstar. He might just be star. Jones, 1,000 with 11. Brown, 900 with 8. 3 for Ferkser. On defense, Brown, 130, 118 for Farley, 106 for Evans. Sack totals, 5 for Landry and Simmons. Interceptions, 2 for Brown, 2 for Brackage, the rookie, which is good. Then a lot of ones. We're fourth in offensive yards. Tannehill. Kyle Trask. Really? I mean, we're not going to win coach of the year. We're number two for offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year, we have Brown at eight. Offensive rookie, Perry Flynn. A lot of Bengals, a lot of Browns, nothing from our team. Brackets at five. 
I feel like brackets probably should have been a little bit higher than that. Granted, we went 5-11. and 11. We didn't draft any hidden development players. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Bengals took down the Giants 28-23. Joe Burrow, Super Bowl MVP. Not a huge surprise there. I said this in my other Tennessee rebuild. I wouldn't bring back Derrick Henry probably unless he's playing out of his mind, which he is. But I do think he'll probably be in Tennessee until he retires. Not, I shouldn't say that in case he plays like Frank or, uh, Frank Gorlong, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Howard Landry, you want to come back again, buddy? I mean, we're going to have a good amount of money for free agency. Tannehill's going to be a free agent. That's probably why. Okay. Lawon, come back. Oh, oh, oh. You're just going to big time us like that. I mean, I'll bring in Tannehill just in case we can't find anybody. I guess not. Don't want to do that. So we have $64 million. Stephon Gilmore is up there. We don't need that. We don't need an end. We don't need a running back. We don't need a guard. Don't need Devontae Smith or Zach Moss. Like we could bring in Schwartz, put him over to left tackle or something, but I don't really want to do that. There's nothing up here. I don't want Higby. I don't want Michael Pittman, Marcus Peters, Logan Wilson. No. David Andrews, we have a, not a rookie, but a young guy playing at center. I am going to bring back Lawan. And then I think the other offer is going to be to Ryan Tannehill, unless there's a better quarterback up there. Would it be nice if he brought me to the top, but who's to say? Kellen Mond is down there. That wouldn't be bad. Mac Jones at star development. I don't think Mac Jones will be there. Matthew Stafford could. Drew Locke, I'd rather die. I'd definitely rather die than have Drew Locke on my team. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, there wasn't really a ton up there. We have two seasons left, I believe. I could be wrong. Got Tannehill. We got Lawan. That's good. The fifth-year option. There's a late first-round quarterback up here in Nick Pratt who is 100% going to have star development, if that. Probably normal. But just because I want to trade up and make sure we have a quarterback, let's trade with the Dolphins. I'm doing our one and a number two. I'm not doing two ones. Give me that. I'm actually going to do a two next year because why not? Two and, you know, I'll throw in a four. On the house. Thank you. I can't wait for this guy to be normal development. Here we go. Nope. Oh, he does have hidden. Okay. He actually seems really, really good. Really, really. In the second round, I'm going to take free safety. Stephen Holloway. 74 hidden development. Awesome. 91 speed. 73 zone. 76 tackle. Ugh, 76 tackle. 77 pursuit. So we lost Julio. I cut Ryan Tannehill. We did have to eat some money, but that's all right. Then on defense, Dupree's up the superstar, which is good. I wish Holloway could start, but there's really no easy way to do it unless we cut Costanza. Costanza. Costanda? I don't know how to say that. But I mean, our defense is pretty top notch. Let's go to the playoffs. There's just nothing I could do to make this team better. We went 5 and 11. That's not bad for a rookie. 67% completion, 4,100 yards, 32 and 10. Henry, 908 with 7. That might explain it. Who? Who's Jake White? 1,000 with 6 touchdowns. 7, 7, 5. Brown, 124, 112 for Evans, 101 for Xtenda. 100 for Farley. I don't know how to say that name for some reason. 6 for Landry, 6 for Dupree. Interceptions, 2 for Farley. And then a few ones. We're 23rd in offensive yards. That's the guy I wanted to take last year, but I didn't trade up to get him. And I guarantee he's going to be an absolute beast. There's Pratt at 7. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie is Pratt. Not a big surprise. Defensive rookie. Nothing. I have to go to the pass real quick. Let's see it. 48, 53, and 13. Ah, someday, someday I won't get unlucky like that star. The Pats beat the Bucks again for the second time in this video and Chase Winovich, the Super Bowl MVP. How many sacks does that require? I actually want to see this because I can, I can maybe get corner if you like return a interception for a touchdown, but a left end, I just don't really see that. What are we looking for? Defense, uh, Winovich, he had... Two and a half sacks. Uh, what? Is that the most sacks? I mean, two and a half is a lot, don't get me wrong. But enough to win Super Bowl MVP, I just, just don't know about that. Who do we have to bring back? 
Farley, Crockett for sure. We have one year left, by the way. I want to spend pretty big in free agency if we have the possibility. Bozeman is a backup we don't need. Pay him. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Now, since we just lost Bud Dupree, I'm going to bring in David Lumpkin, which is quite the name. But let's add him to our team, hopefully. Russell Wilson's up there. I'd love to have him, but we're just not going to do that. Xavier Howard was still good at corner. I don't think we need a guard. No, because we have uh, Nate Davis. Then we have that rookie I drafted a few years ago. Ridley, Bradbury. Uh, yeah, I don't see anybody. Oh, no, we lost. Uh, okay, all right, all right. We lost Taylor Little One. Pay him all the money. $22 million, 123. We have Radons at our right tackle position, so that should be fine. Let's advance. Let's get our two guys. Let's go to the draft. Of course, in the final year, we have the fifth overall pick. There's two quarterbacks here, and I bet you both of them fall to five. Right, one gone. Two picks gone, not the quarterback gone. Left tackle. I just get so unlucky. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Um, to help out this team, there's really nothing that's game-changing in the final year. So I'm going to go with the Heisman, Sean Paxton. 76 hidden development, 76 tackles, 72 hit power, 82 speed, 90 acceleration. In the third round, I took tight end Jeff Carmichael, who has hidden development and looks like an absolute beat. So in our final year, we're an 87 overall team. This should be interesting. Carmichael, oh, I can't make him start because he's playing fullback for some reason. Let's make him our starting tight end. Let's put Kendricks up to our starting fullback. Three deeper receiver, good offensive line, fantastic defense. By the way, Holloway had star development and he's a 78. Let's go to the playoffs. Julio on the Titans is going to be nasty. I think so too. I was just saying that to Jason. I think they're going to win the division easily. Easily. Almost too easy. Finally winning our division at 9-7. and seven. Only took the whole video. Colts and the Texans 8-8 eight and, eight and the Jaguars 7-9. Pratt 4,500 yards, 38-8. He could win MVP. That'd be awesome. Rushing Henry 1,100 with 8. Brown, 1,000 with 8. White, 1,000 with 11. I still don't know where he came from. Carmichael, 960 with 5. Sutton, 800 with 6. On defense, Evans, 127. Farley, 102. Sack total, 7 for Fuller is good. Lumpkin, 6. Where is the rookie we took? Right, he didn't do much, but he was a backup. Four interceptions for Evans, 3 for Morrison, 2 for Crockett, 2 for Costanza. And then a few ones. Ninth in offensive yards. Mahomes, of course. There's Pratt at 4. Coach of the year. We're at number 10. Offensive player, Pratt at two. Beating Colvin, though. That's good. Defensive player, Evans at two. Offensive rookie, Carmichael at two. Defensive rookie, nothing, but that's all right. I do want to take a peek at our team, see all the hidden development, stuff like that before we move on. Carmichael, star with six, is awesome. Pierre is good. He's up to an 80. Walker's up to an 80 as well. I'm pretty sure Paxton was the, 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 the Heisman. What happened? Let's try to take down the Las Vegas Raiders. Not really sure what their team looks like. I'm assuming they still have Derek Carr at this point. They might not, though. I hate when we get down to the goal line and then we kick a field goal. It's 14-3. You know we're going to lose this game. In every playoff game we've seen this video, we've only kicked field goals. I think we scored a combined 15 points in all of our playoff games. And we didn't score a touchdown. Touchdown for Mac Jones. Pratt's awful. Jacobs 135 with two. Sure, Harris with a touchdown. But that's going to be it for this video. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.